Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Waking It. Now, um, you can see we've got a new setup for Waking It now because I am taking apart a creation, so I think this will be much easier for you guys to see. Now, like I mentioned in the actual video, this gun is very uh, unsturdy, and as you can see, it's pretty much all fallen apart already. But, um, yeah, I'll try to show you guys the main parts, um, sort of put it back together. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. And for those of you newcomers who are wondering what this is, basically I take apart my own creations to show you the insides to maybe just possibly help you with your own. So yeah, let's just get started. Here is the handle, as you see I just put back together. Here's the design. Um, this is the reason why it's so unstable. It's connected by just these studs. Um, yeah, it looks nice, but like I said, it's very unstable. And so yeah, that's the handle, and as you can see, I just do some smooth plates here for the uh, grip. Nothing too special here. Move those to the side. Um, sights, sights. Let's just do this. Get this out of the way. So um, these are the sights. Oh, this in the video, I used a hose piece. If the camera we can focus, there you go. It's one of these hose pieces, and they work nicely for some of these bends. You know, they're flexible, and then just some of these. Uh, one green studs for the uh, little lights, and this camera's not wanting to focus, so that's always great. Um, the butt stock, uh, it? It, it was something like this. As you can see, I used a bunch of these groove pieces here, which just gives it a bit more texture, and then this one on something like this. And then here's the cheek rest, right here. Like this, as you can see. Um, and, yeah, nothing too special. It's two studs wide. I use some, you know, smooth pieces, slopes. Nothing too special. Here is the lever, um, as you can see. Right here. It went right over here. So if I reconnect that. Yeah, I'll just reconnect it. Give me a second, guys. And while I do that, uh... I'm gonna just let you guys look at these pieces. This is sort of the cover of the um, loading mechanism, which uh, half of it is missing. I can't find it. It's somewhere in the pile of Lego, but yeah, I have no idea where it is. Uh, handle, part of the stock as well, and then all the grip and that. Alright, now that I have this back, here it is. Um, as you can see, if I take this off, if I disconnect this, uh, well, of course it'll break, but you will notice that the way I built it, um, it really shouldn't connect, because this hinge shouldn't bend any more than this, because the studs come in contact with each other and they don't bend, but if you force this top part down as well, you can sort of get the right angles, which allows you to connect these, and um, if you put a bit of force on it, you will get the shape you need, which is this. Uh, this goes along the handle, and yeah, it took quite a while to get the design right to make it look right and everything. And I know it's supposed to be sort of like a goldish color, but who even has gold bricks other than freaking Zatsunamis? <laughs> All right, let's let's continue. Um, here's the disc. Uh, this is probably the most interesting part of the design. As you can see, I took this off and this, and there you go. There's the design. If I take these off. Wait, can I? Yeah, no, I can't. It's attached to there. But, um, here's how I did sort of this. It's loose, as you can see, but um, yeah, here it is. It's attached by just some studs. These side studs are for the panel you saw earlier. So, yeah, take this off. Um, this side... Oh, there's the other side of the cover, then. Um, but, yeah, here's how the cover was connected. There it is. Here's the hole. Uh, the lever. The trigger. And yeah, let's just uh, take apart this main area and then we'll get onto the barrel, which I am quite proud of. So if I. There you go. So this entire part comes off. Here is sort of the lever mechanism part, which is really not a mechanism, it's just a hinged part there. That's all it is. And I have this cover so that we sort of ammo can slide in. 
I'm sure if that's loud, guys, I'm just throwing the leg into a bin. Um, sort of like a receiver-ish bit with the handle and the trigger. Nothing too special, just some slope bricks, rubber banding, and some concealed red bricks. And that's that. Alright, so take this off. Did anything break? I don't think so. so sights. You got the dial, some details here. It's quite nice. I really like this. The shapes. It looks just cool. Alrighty, the part I'm most proud of, this is the, um, if it'll focus, the barrel, as you can see. There's a lot of detail, like these, uh, hand guards. They look really nice. Um, you got some silk bricks here. Some bracket pieces to attach these panels onto the side. And this entire bottom section. It's all separate and should come off. Something like this. Then you got, you see, concealed pan brakes, brown brakes, I don't know why that one's concealed, that's part of the grip. Little chunk here, nothing fancy. Numb slopes, some back pieces to add the sort of, uh, lettering on the side of the gun. But yeah, here's sort of the front barrel bit with that opening here. Nothing too special, I used one of these pieces which come in quite handy. Now, if you'll... Excuse me, I need to get... There it is. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, the lettering was made with the bracket pieces. Right here. Nothing too special. It looks really nice. And that's basically the same way I made these sort of vents. Um, if I take this off... Oh, God, it's already falling apart. But... Here it is. How I made the uh, sort of vents. If I, uh... Let me see how I can take this part to show you guys. Um, if I take this part off, I used a bunch of these 2x4s with holes to do this. So, um, yeah, if I put this together, you could take advantage of that and sort of reverse the stud placement so that you can have sort of like a double-sided brick to get this slope design. And as you can see here, I was missing one, but... Yeah, you can't really see that. So yeah, that's how I did the slope design. It's really nice. I'm really proud of myself for creating that. Here, not much. Just some slopes, some tiles. And the top, um, you know, you got the rails, which nothing special. Um, some more smooth tiles. Some bricks. And that's it. That's the Argus. Let me just take the camera and show you guys this here. Here's the Argus taken apart in all its glory. Um... But, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let me know what you think about this new sort of boiking it setup where I sort of just put the camera down and show you guys sort of on the little table. Because, you know, slightly easier to record. It's easier to show you guys the parts. And, well, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, well, goodbye.